so guys in today's video or more like in this particular video we're going to be talking about a recent and of course a significant political development in Gauteng here in south africa well the EFF, that is the Economic Freedom Fighters, have expressed their dissatisfaction with the newly appointed members of the Executive Council. Well, this is actually something that is coming by surprise and it's something that has to really be talked about. Well, these appointments come after extensive negotiations among various political parties following the recent national and provincial elections. While Premier Le Sufi revealed a provincial executive council dominated by ANC member uh, of the executive council with additional representatives from the Encanta Freedom Party Patriotic Alliance and Rise Mzanzi. Well, the EFF, however, criticized the ANC's decision, alleging that the appointments prioritized political patronage over the genuine needs of the people of Goiteng. What are your thoughts on the EFF's critique of the ANC's handling of government appointments? Do you believe in political patronage? Or do you believe that political patronage is hindering effective governance and guiding? I mean, share your thoughts in the comment section. Well, another issue is that in Kuleleko Dunga, who happens to be the EFF's uh, Goiteng Provincial uh, Chairperson, voiced his own disappointment over what he perceives as the ANC's failure to address key issues such as unemployment crime, infrastructure, deficiencies, and of course, the economic challenges. He also criticized the reappointment of the members of the Executive Committee and the Executive Council from the previous administration, accusing the ANC of neglecting public dissatisfaction expressed during the elections. Oh, according to Dunga, the EFF has consistently positioned itself as a credible alternative to the ANC, advocating for economic freedom and promising a more responsive government. Despite not securing a majority mandate to govern uh, independently, the EFF remains committed to its role as a vigilant opposition, holding the current executive accountable for their actions. I mean, how do you think the EFF can effectively influence governance in Gauteng as an opposition party? What strategies should they employ to address the concerns they have raised? I mean, let us know your thoughts in the comment section. So the announcement of the MEC appointments excludes several political parties, including the DA, the MK party, Action SA, and Build One South Africa. This exclusion has sparked debate about inclusivity in governance and the representation of diverse political voices in decision-making processes. I mean, stay tuned as we continue to follow developments in Gauteng uh, and of course in Gauteng's provincial administration and the EFF's effort to uphold their principles of accountability and socio-economic reform. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell notification for more updates on South African politics and current affairs. Thank you and God bless you for me.